This is the Hennessy Velosa Raptor R 6x6, and it's a little bit like having a massive that you just at the place. It's really big. Yeah. Look at so big. Anyway, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this insane truck in this video. You can take it for a drive, see what it's like to live with, do some donuts, launch it, and whatever other crazy ass I can dream up. Because I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. This is Mike from Hennessy. Hi, Mike. How you doing? I'm good, thanks. I'm good. So I'd really like you to tell me all about your crazy truck. Well, it's best to think of this as uh, one of our Velociraptor upgrades with a whole new axle. So it goes from a 4x4 to a 6x6. A 6x6, and that's the main thing about this, right? We're at the front. Let's talk about what's going on at the front. So this is your own design. What's this for? Is this for killing people? You can do anything you want with it, just don't tell anyone. Okay, um, all right. The way I look at it, we add a, a steel push bar bumper on the front. It's got a light kit on the front also. Killing zombies. Killing That's zombies works for. really, really okay, well. Yeah. Then we add 37 inch wheel tire package on it. Uh -huh. This one's got the stock brake kit. It's got the stock dampers. So you're running a lot of the Raptor R hardware. Right. Uh, which keeps the same Fox shocks, 5.2 liter supercharged V8. It's got 700 horsepower. And then obviously if we keep walking on this one. So it's normal Raptor really at the moment. Yeah, apart Raptor, from the, R, Raptor, Raptor R, Raptor R. Sorry, yeah, R, R, Raptor R. It's really important the R because then you get the 5.2 supercharged, don't you? Exactly, a flat plane V8 sounds incredible. As we head to the back, all of a sudden what we've done is we've removed the stock bed, which is five and a half feet. And we added a Ford eight foot bed to it. And we have custom fit the fenders so Matt fits inside. I fit inside? Look at this. Let me go start that <laughs> don't, don't, don't start it off. <laughs> Let me get out of here. So this is really where all your work takes place. This From here to there. Yeah, this is a Ford, uh, I believe it's a Super Duty eight foot bed. Obviously we've cut the fenders out to fit. And then what we do is we have something called, it's a, a through axle. So it's a, the center differential has actually a shaft that comes out the back yep. into another differential. Uh -huh. So it's a true six by six, six wheel drive, six, you know, so it's got three lockers. One, two, three. And three, that's correct. And then that... we duplicate the Fox shocks. Okay, yes. And those are bump stops you see front and rear. I can see them there, you know, yeah. That keeps the thing from pivoting back and forth and hitting itself. We extend the exaust pipe. It's a so lot what of you work. End up, you end up with is 50% more tractive power, 50% more braking power. So literally snow, sand, mud, unstoppable. So, okay, let me just get, go back a little bit. So the <laughs> rear axle is the normal rear axle that you have on the Raptor R. That's correct. You shift it all the way there. Correct. This other axle, that's not from a Raptor R. Is this a new axle? That is not from a Raptor R. We've, uh, yeah, it's got, because the, it's got a through shaft. It goes through the back as yes, well. Yes, I can see it passing through. So it's a different axle. Where do you get that from? Custom made. So, so it's custom made specifically custom -made, for this. Right. And this bed is not custom made. It's a bed that you can buy. The bed is a Ford eight foot bed, but we have to custom the fenders because Ford's not offering a six by six. So you have to customize this design Correct. here. So there's a hell of a lot of work going into this. A lot of welding, a lot of architecture, a lot of steel. So how long does it take to actually build one of these? You're probably talking 60 to 90 days once you place the order. Really? Okay, and how many people are working on that? <laughs> a handful. A lot, okay, so a it's lot. a lot of man hours going into this, a lot of parts, which must mean a lot of money. It could be a little expensive. God, then how much is one of these? You're probably talking about 450,000 US. <sighs> It's a lot, isn't it? So why are people buying these? You talked about like you've got the improved traction because obviously you've got more tire on the ground. So it's better in like loose snow, mud and stuff like for driving out of them and stuff like that. But really, are people buying them for that? Or are they buying them just to show off because of I've course, got more wheels than you? You could come up with a long list of objective, practical reasons to buy it. But most people are buying it for emotional reasons. They want to be different. They want to stand out. Uh -huh. And uh, when you drive this thing on a public road, everyone's looking at you. Well, you know, with that in mind, what I'd like to do now, if you don't mind, is to take it out on a public road and see if I can get people looking at me. Sounds good. I want to find out exactly how quick this Velociraptor R is. So, what will its 5.2 litre supercharged V8 deliver? Got 700 horsepower, 840 newton meters of torque, but three and a half tons of weight. Let's launch it and find out. Here we go. Build up the boost. Off we go. 5.2 to 60. Ah, it 
it's a uh, monster. 13.7 over the quarter mile. Woo! <laughs> this is quick. This is really quick, considering the heft and the traction off the line was amazing. Six wheels are better than four. I know, especially where six wheels will be better than four. I'm going to do this again, but in the grass. Actually, before I do the run on the grass, I'm going to set a benchmark brake test from 60 miles an hour on tarmac. So here we go. Right, so that took 127 feet. That's about 39 meters. Right, let's move on to the grass. I'm not gonna brake boost it though, because I think that might actually make it harder to get away, because I don't want it to spin its tires at all. So I'm just gonna floor the throttle. Three, two, one, go. That picked up well. Oh, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Right, 0 to 60, 9.1 seconds. And it stopped in 219 feet, which is in meters, 67 meters. Considering grass is slippy, those are not bad stats. Hmm, let's do something else a bit silly. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is put the truck into two wheel drive mode. Though actually it'll be four wheel drive, but four wheels at the back. I'm gonna disengage the front axle. Then I'm going to press and hold the traction control button until that goes off, hit OK, and then just see what I can do. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Here comes Mike, I'm just gonna give it back to him now. Hey Mike, that was a lot of fun. It looks like you had some fun, but uh, now you gotta go clean it. Uh oh. Here on the inside, Hennessy have made no changes to the Ford F-150 Raptor R's interior. However, being a Raptor R, you do get some choice upgrades over a standard F-150 and even over the normal Ford F-150 Raptor. So you have a sports steering wheel here with red stitching, and a red center marker. You have paddle shifters. Now you do have these on the normal F-150 Raptor instead of the silly little buttons on the gear selector for changing gears manually like you do on the normal F-150, that's rubbish. What I do like though is the standard F-150 gear selector itself and the way you can do this, look. Press that button and it goes away. And you might be thinking, why on earth do you need it to do that? Well, I'll show you why, look. Hee, it's a table for doing a little bit of work on. Maybe you can have your drive-through food on here. It's, it's quite cool. Anyway, back to the changes for the Raptor R. And as you can see here, you get Raptor R. Actually, Raptor, then it's just, is it the Rapto R? Enough of that nonsense. Anyway, that's different on the Raptor R. You also get the Recaro sports seats are standard on the Raptor R. They're an optional extra on the normal F-150 Raptor. This car's fitted with the optional carbon fiber trim. You've got it here, here, here on the door. And look, we've got some red stitching. Other than that though, it's all very much like a normal F-150, which is pretty blooming modern. And you've got a digital driver's display with lots of different views you can cycle through. A huge infotainment screen, but thankfully you do the climate through some chunky buttons here. It's all very easy to use and quite practical as well with plenty of storage. Look at the storage under there. There's loads of it. Cup holders, place for pens or your mobile phone and stuff. You've got more storage under here and while it's charging, two different types of USBs. You've got normal plug socket there. You've got your 12 volt. You have a modest size glove box. And look, oh, there's another storage area under there as well. And here on the dash, look, you can see squidginess and red stitching for the Raptor arm. And this one has the technology pack. So we've got a Bang and Olufsen stereo up here. 
Obviously, being an F-150, you can get auxiliary features for lighting and stuff like that, if you've got roof lights, bonnet lights, and all that kind of stuff. And we have a large panoramic glass roof as well. It's all very spacious. And there's plenty of adjustment in the seat. Plus, you can even adjust the foot pedals, look. Watch this, press this button, I can move them. See that? So if you've got little legs, you can bring them closer to you, or if you're lanky, Move them further away, just by pressing this button here. Can you see it there? Huh. That's good, isn't it? Anyway, let's hop into the back and check out how spacious it is back there. Here in the rear, there's some more Raptor r -iness. So, you've got the sporty seats, the red stitching, and more red stitching here on the door. The carbon fibre even extends back here. Other than that, though, it's just like a normal F-150 double cab. So, we've got loads of knee room, loads of foot space, Loads of R space as well. Easily enough room for three people here in the back. And you've got your 12 volt socket, you've got your USBs, you've got your auxiliary power, and you've got heated seats for two outer rear seats. Plus, I like this feature, see that? I can open that window by pressing this button up here. Look, this one here, watch this. There we go. And then you can look out to the huge load bed of this 6x6. What a beast. Here we are then, going out on the road in the crazy Velociraptor R 6x6. And there's a lot of noise as the mud that's caked into the mud tyres is getting flung off as I drive along. Maybe I won't have to wash it if I can just go quick enough and get rid of all the mud like this. Let's put the suspension into comfort. It's a little bit bouncy, this. Right, um, okay, drive mode, normal. I'm not really noticing that much difference. Driving it in America where everything is just straight, seems fine. Why not have one of these instead of a normal four-wheel truck? Well, apart from the price, I do not see any downside whatsoever. It is not the smoothest ride, it's not the quietest ride, but it's nowhere near as bad as I thought that it could be. Considering I've got six tyres, the road noise isn't terrible, and the exhaust noise is awesome. <laughs> it's so silly. Maybe I'll head out to a little town to see what the locals think of it. After all, I have got to find myself a car wash. Here we go. There's a town, Seeley. Let's head to Seeley and see what we can see, Lee. There's another six-wheeler. I wonder if they changed the horn on this to make it sound more like a truck. No, it's just normal horn. I want like a ah, ah. Right, this appears to be Seeley. There's not much here. There's the police. Let's keep moving along. There's plenty of other trucks around here, but I think I'm out trucking them all. I'm the meanest mother trucker in this town. Look at my wheels. I feel like we should go to Small World in our big truck. Here's my car wash. Right, let's see if we can get in this one. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> He likes it. Let's get washing. Right, I've got some quarters. They just say here, please no vehicles with excessive mud. It's not excessive, it's fine. It's one dollar, one. Are we good to go? Yeah? Rinse, just rinse it all off. Here we go. Blimey. Oh, it's working! Wow! There's a lot of mud up there! <laughs> ah! You get a lot of time for your money here. 
<laughs> I spoke too soon, but I think it's done good enough to take it back to Hennessy. Ugh. Oh dear. Well, I don't think I made too much mess there. It'll be fine. I mean, hungry work though. Get myself some food. Oh look, that's handy. Let's go there. China buffet. Now I always like to park as close as possible. I don't want to walk. So here's a space. Hopefully I can fit in there. I do have reversing cameras, which is handy. quite long, so I might stick out a bit of a way. That was easier than I thought. Let's see if I've got plenty of room to get out. Nah. Look, it's, it's easier than a normal car in a parking space in the United Kingdom. So much space here in the US. You can totally get away with having a 6x6. That was pretty cool. What were y'all doing? What we're doing? Just filming this. Oh, trying to... Okay. I was like... They're filming him back in... I've got more wheels than everyone else. Look. It's a nice truck. Yeah, it's all right, Very isn't nice. it? It's called a Velociraptor. It's made in England. From England? Yeah, this truck, we bought it over, we bought it over from England. It's reported the from England. Yeah, the cars are bigger in England. Here in America, you're, you, all your cars are very small. I don't know why that is. You have such small little cars. Where are you going? Where am I going? I'm going back to England. It's too small here. I hope that's not the place coming to get me. Right, yeah, I didn't really like the menu there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my old faithful. Hello? What's going on? Hi. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? 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 Three hours later. Customers with speech or hearing difficulties, please pull up to the next window. Well, I can't hear anything, so I'm gonna pull up to the next window. I've never found McDonald's so hard in all my life. Hello. I tried to order and I couldn't order. I couldn't hear anything. I know it was because my truck's too loud. Listen, it's very loud. Listen to this. It's loud, isn't it? Could I have some small fries and a cup of tea? You don't have tea? Can I have unsweet tea? Thank you. Small. That will complete my order. That's great, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Hello. I'm sweet tea, small friend. Yeah, that's it, that's it, yeah. All right. All right. All right. I didn't get very close, I'm sorry. All thank right, you. Good, Have a good day. Yeah, thank you, and you. Very balanced diet, that. Some time later. I've got myself some food. I've cleaned the truck off. I'm now gonna take it back to Micah Hennessy. But before I do that, I'm gonna give you my final verdict on this crazy Velociraptor R. Well, do you know what? It's a very expensive thing, but it's also a very unique thing. In fact, there's nothing else I've really driven that has this much road presence. It's utterly insane. Sure, it's a little bit bouncy and a little bit crazy, but there's just something about it. It really is a totally unique vehicle. And of course, sounds epic. <laughs> anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to watch some more videos, click on the windows. And if you're thinking about changing your car, you can do the whole process through CarWow. Sell your current car through CarWow and have dealers all across the country bid on it and buy your next car through CarWow as well. It's very easy and completely free to use. Thanks for watching.